What's going on guys, it's Mr. Green here, and I wanna to talk to you guys about a couple things today, but before I do that, let me set this gameplay up. This was a really, really fun game that I had of Kill Confirm 6v6. I go 58 and six, I get three dogs, you know, three K9 units, three VSATs, and uh, three Warthogs. Uh, had a really good game, really good class setup, and had a whole lot of fun. The thing about this is, is I'm not using one of my go-to classes. This class isn't my end all class it's not one of my smg classes or assault rifle class it's a shotgun class and it's not the most overpowered shotgun at that so it's just a whole lot of fun really good gameplay hope you guys enjoy and the things i want to talk about today are what are the most fun classes that you use in call of duty not necessarily the classes that you do the best with but the ones you have the most fun with which ones do you enjoy the most while using and i want to talk a little bit about rage quitting and what i think the next makers of call of duty whoever that is whether it's never soft like they're saying or infinity ward whoever makes the next call of duty what they can do to help rage quitting, help prevent it, help stop it, and overall make the game better. And I might talk a little bit about lag compensation. You never know when I'm going to throw that one in there. But if you don't know who I am, my name is Mr. Green. I upload video game content all throughout the week. What are I find fun and entertaining I bring to you? So if you enjoy this video, don't forget to hit that like button, leave a comment down below discussing today's topic, and subscribe for more videos. I upload all the time. So yeah, let's move on. Let's talk about what I want to talk about today. First, let's talk about the fun classes in Call of Duty. What are your most fun classes? I'm fast forwarding here because I just kind of walked a little bit. But uh, and look at this. This proves that uh, this shotgun isn't overpowered right here. It's a shotgun, but it's not overpowered. I just got outclassed by a guy who wasn't even really looking straight at me. Lag compensation. But anyway, uh, what are the most fun classes that you enjoy using? This isn't my typical class. It's not what I run with all the time. I'm using the M1216, the M12. I'm using lightweight, scavenger, and fast hands. I'm using dexterity and C4 and EMPs. I have never been a C4 fan. Never. I've never been a fan of C4. Uh, I've never been a fan of equipment. I've always just kind of ran with the perks. Even in Modern Warfare 3, I just use specialists, never really using my equipment that much, just for a lot of my perks and my skill and my guns. And that's what I've been doing in this game. But uh, this, this time I want to switch it up. I started using this class, started really using my C4, trying to get better at that. Thank you, Thunder, for showing me the power of the C4 sandwich. But uh, but yeah, C4 and EMP. And the EMP is great too because it gets you a crap ton of points, guys. It gets you loads of points. Um, every time your EMP destroys enemy equipment or every time you throw an EMP and then your teammates kill that enemy because they're stunned by your EMP, you get assist points. So... You can rack up a lot of points just off spamming your EMP grenades. And, uh, of course, with Scavenger, you can load up on those EMP grenades all you want and your C4. So that's a lot of fun. But, yeah, I had a ton of fun with this class. And I ended up knowing that I'm just going into the game, trying to have fun. I think a lot of people take Call of Duty too seriously, including myself. We go into a game, and if we don't do extremely well, we just get so frustrated. So I switched to a class that I couldn't blame myself I was just going to switch to class that I had a whole lot of fun with, see if it got frustrated, and I found out that I was having really good games. Had a ton of fun with this class and had a bunch of good games. I got a few I might upload of, uh, of this little guy right here, but yeah, the M1216, it got buffed last patch, and it's a pretty good gun. The medium damage uh, got buffed at medium range, so it's, it's a good gun. It's not the Remington. It's not. It is not overpowered in the least bit. There are some times you will fire this gun and you will just be like, look at that guy camping in the back with one of the auto snipe. Oh, sniping's ruining this game, people. Ruining this game. That and the shotguns. Not not the shotgun I'm using, but the Remington. You know which one I'm talking about. And uh, but yeah, it's not the Remington. This isn't the end all be all to shotguns. It's a good shotgun. Definitely my second. Definitely not my second, but definitely the second best shotgun next to the Remington of course but uh it's a whole lot of fun to use and it's a whole lot of fun to use without being cheap i can go ham with the remington all day but i don't i don't want to because i do feel like it's overpowered and i get annoyed when other people use that gun so yeah what are your most fun classes that you like to use leave a comment in the section down below and tell me about it you're the most fun classes what you like to use what you like to have fun with when you're not going all try hard let me know i'd like to see maybe i'll use some of your classes and post a video using those classes. Maybe I'll make a series about the most fun classes to use in Call of Duty. I think we could all use a little bit more fun. This game just, it's so frustrating at times and uh, having fun is what it's all about. That's why we all play video games and I think that's a good thing. So let's moving on to rage quitting because that's what everyone on the enemy team did this game. Everyone rage quit. If you look on the bottom left hand corner of your screen, you're going to see a lot of names drop in and out. Disconnect due to anger and frustration. And I understand that. I understand rage quitting and why it's easy to do. If you look, you see one Dorito on the map, that one triangle. Uh, I'm going after it, me and my buddies. Everyone running out of this one guy because everyone else rage quitted. But uh, how I think they can fix rage quitting is actually quite simple. You A, make the penalty really, really severe. I mean, not, not super, super severe, but pretty severe. You make the penalty something to where if you rage quit two games in a row, um, it's 30 minutes. 
30 minutes you can't play and you may think that that sounds but but mr green it puts me in games all the time where, I, where i'm going against look at that lag i'm lagging like crazy but it puts me in games all the time where i'm, I'm like, the enemy team already has 100 points in domination and they got kill streaks in the air and all that yeah i understand that and that's what i'm going to get into next how can they solve that they need to make it to where you have the option to set in your options menu in your search preferences if you want to get into a game that's already started now you say the argument to that is but mr green people drop out all the time i don't want the whole enemy team to drop out and then no one else join back if you make the penalties like i said more severe for dropping out this will happen way less i promise you if you make the penalties more severe for dropping out people aren't going to drop out as much they won't rage quit as much and uh, if you make it to where people in their search preferences can choose not to join games that have already started they won't rage quit as much and they won't drop out as much that i could have probably had a 100 plus gameplay here if or really close to <laughs> I sit behind this guy because he's in the back of the map like a loser and an idiot but he was getting rained down upon by my dogs or dog and orbital v-set so I can't say I blame him but uh but yeah if you make everything much difficult more difficult to do more difficult to back out of games make it harder on people to do that people will stop I back out of games too if I join a game and there's one kill streak in the air I'm backing out sorry I'm not doing it I put myself through that the anger and the frustration so I back out but if they make it to where you have that choice in your preferences solve a whole lot of heartaches and another thing that the um next call of duty makers are going to have to work on is changing the code to this lag the lag compensation is brutal look at that double c4 this lag compensation is brutal they're not doing anything to fix it they're not ah, david vonahar won't even say anything he won't even say anything about it but there's my third and final dogs and the game's almost over and everyone's already backed out pretty much and there's a I think it looks like a full party but uh everyone's backing out the whole game and uh, yeah, like I said, that's how you solve that. But the lag compensation is brutal in this game. Really hope they do something next time to fix it. And uh, But I'm about to get out of here, guys. My name is Mr. Green. Tell me what you thought of this video in the comments down below. Don't forget to rate the video. Leave that like button if you enjoyed. And subscribe for future content. I upload all kinds of stuff, whether it's tips, walkthroughs, whatever. I upload for you guys all the time. I'm Mr. Green. Peace.